Grayman is supported by Patreon. Donate now and receive special early access. Hello, hello, hello. I am the Gray Man, and welcome back to Mega Man 4. Let's fight Skull Man. Who has the power of, uh, skulls? I, uh, I, I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Um, uh, that is, oh, uh, that is one cool bit of trivia that, uh, I did manage to look up, is that apparently the team loved the design of Skull Man so much that they basically scrapped, uh, an entire existing level and then redesigned it from the ground up so that it would have a skull theme. So, I have no idea where this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be some kind of robot excavation site, which has robot dinosaurs. Like, look at that. You can see a robot dinosaur fossil in the background. It's like, is there was there a whole history in Mega Man of robot dinosaurs that walked the Earth to the point where they had... Honest to God, like, skeletons? Like, <laughs> they didn't have gears or any other moving parts, but they had, like, a robot dinosaur skeleton. And combine this with Mega Man 3 going into space, I just have, like, oh, shit. Sorry, I hit the rewind button again. Um, do you have anything useful, Eddie? No, you don't! Okay, Fant <laughs> fantastic. Thank you, Eddie. Um, so, I don't know. You have a world filled with robot dinosaurs, and you have Mega Man go into space. I just have, like, so much... So many questions about what's kind of going on. Like, what is the world of 20XDX like? Or should I just invoke Mystery Science Theater Worlds and tell myself it's just a game, I should really just relax? I need to get that E-Tank really fast. Rush, can you play the opening riff of The Twilight Zone? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm not even... I'm, I'm gonna cop to this. Like, every time I do the Rush joke, I wanted to come in better prepared, so I actually have <laughs> a, a small list of them written next to me <laughs> on my on my dry erase board that I include for notes. <laughs> I'm a big Rush fan, and I am committed to this stupid-ass Rush joke for as long as I can do it. Oh, here's one thing that I associate with uh, skulls a lot. Robot caterpillars. Does it? Doesn't that make a whole lot of sense? Uh, should I try to go for that E tank back there? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, Rush, I'm gonna give you a little break so I can show off the balloons. Ooh, I love the balloons. Uh, we'll get it in Dive Man's level, which I'm gonna do after this. But uh, that was those were two of the additional things that they included. They included the balloon. Which is basically kind of a remake of um, item one, the uh, the floaty plat. Ah, I didn't think that through. Someone popped my balloon. <laughs> there, there is kind of a thing uh, where certain Mega Man weapons will. So, it, it, in Mega Man 3, one of the kind of the annoyances is that you had the Gemini laser, which uh, would not allow you to use uh, the pause screen while I was still in the field. Like, basically, if the weapon was still active in Mega Man 3, you couldn't pause the game. Um, oop, ooh, I can't... Uh, okay, I did it. Um, and that was kind of a flaw that carry carried over from Mega Man 2. I remember when I was playing that... There were just certain things I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't pause the game while the weapon was still around. Um, and so they corrected that for this game onward. But at the same time, it also just had the weapon straight up disappear when you pause the game. And so that's kind of a thing where that, that thing gets kind of annoying. It's like, thank you for fixing that problem, but you kind of created another problem. Um... That is, that is one thing I kind of, uh, encountered, is, um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I briefly did, um, some playtesting work last year. I did it for six months. Um, I'm not gonna say for who and for what game because of, uh, non-disclosure agreements, so that has to be, that has to be top secret, so sorry. But, um, 
if, if it's anything, like, they're not games that you would play. They, were, they weren't very fun. Um, I will say that much. But we would, you know, find bugs all the time in the game, and we would send reports to the developers. And they would just kind of come back, and they would say, like, either... Either they wouldn't be willing to fix the problem because, I don't know, they just straight up didn't feel like it. Um, or they would go, we can't fix this issue because this would mess with a bunch of code that we have in another part of the game, and it would kind of completely ruin things there. Um, and unfortunately, that is something you kind of encounter a little bit whenever you try to not just program, but, like, also program something as dense as a video game. Like, it'll just reach a point where, like, you know, just any slight change that you make will fuck with another part. I had that a little, uh, briefly during, uh, my web development career. And this is on briefly, because I only did it for a year and it made me fucking miserable. But we would just change, like, a little bit of code in one area, and it would just, like, fuck up everything else in another area. Isn't- isn't technology wonderful? Isn't it great, kids? What- what even- Okay, so this is the water level. I've never thought this before. What the hell is this orange shit supposed to be? Just, like... Does Dive Man just really like orange soda? Like, what is- <laughs> Who loves orange soda? Da K Dive Man loves orange soda. Is it true? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I had an awesome thing with that, where I was at a burger place and I was getting an orange soda, and I kind of look at the uh, the girl behind the counter and I go, "Who loves orange soda?" And I launch into Kel loves orange soda from Keenan and Kel, and <laughs> she kind of gives me a look like she she got the reference, thank God, but she was kind of looking at me like. Is he gonna do it? And then I say, Kel loves orange soda, and he's like, she's like, oh my god, he did it! Ah, <laughs> uh, millennials. <laughs> that, should, that should be a new article on BuzzFeed or something, like, millennials are talking about, about how much they love orange soda. Or how much Kel loves orange soda. Come on, give me something useful. Okay, thank you. You gave me a thing that I needed. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie's all right. Uh, he showed up from time to time in the Mega Man cartoon, um, but when they would portray Eddie, uh, first of all, they made him green, so I don't know what that's about, but they made him green. Um, but if you listen to, uh, the voice that they gave him, it sounds, it's not the, it's not the same actor, obviously, but it sounds suspiciously like Meatwad from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> Hold on, Mega Man, why don't I give you, uh, give you a healing item or something, see if we can get some of your strength back. We're gonna need it if you wanna fight a bunch of those robot masters. <laughs> ah, damn it. I, I, need, I need to take my finger off of the, uh, the rewind button. Just, I, I don't need, uh, so the rewind button is the shoulder button. I'm not gonna need that at all while playing this game. Okay. Yeah, I got the thing! <laughs> on my on my first try, no less. Am I gonna have to refight one of those giant whales, though? Ah, oh, shit, I totally am. Um, that's okay. Whee! And then shoot the thing with the bayoub! Okay. <laughs> that is... So I don't have any professional voice acting experience. Um, everybody, everybody says I should, which you know, uh, like that's one advantage of working in a medium where I just record my voice more. You know, I just have more clips I have to show off. Um, part of the problem is I I don't really have a lot of opportunities to create original voices. You know, um, so I end up just imitating a bunch of people, which is like fun, and some people are impressed, but. You know, that's not going to get you work. It's just like, we would just hire the guy who would originally do that voice. But I will say, uh, when I do bust out the voice acting, that Meat Wad is one that consistently impresses people. I am on... I just realized I am on my last life. And Dive Man is actually kind of a tricky one, so... Okay. The Skull Shield is what um, takes him out. Hold on, sorry. I'm going to have to shut up for a minute so I can concentrate on this. 
Hello there, man. You want to take a look at my skull shield? It is a shield made of skulls. I don't know what the connection is, but I suppose I could find out. Oh. Yay. Okay. Woo. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> but yeah, the meatwad impression, like, you know, just uh, consistently delights a lot of people, which I'm kind of happy about. Like, what are we supposed to do during the day without a TV? I ain't got no job, I got, I got child support payments, my wife left me, and I don't know if half of the stuff I just said is true, but I believe it. Why don't we go to the next stage? Actually, we're a little bit out of time, so why don't we go uh, end this video right here, and we'll get to Drill Man. He's got a little bit of the drilling going on. Thanks a lot for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!